Hello, this is H.G. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! Let's continue searching the world for more mini-metals. To glorify myself in my honor. Er, well, you know what I mean. And I also want to get some zoom points, too. Pick up my moan again. Let's see, is that it? Yeah, yeah, okay. Hmm. I wonder why that's last on my list of zoom locations. Well, let's see how the... Well, why do I need her? Now, let's see what the prop... The prophet has to say now. Oh, really? Well, that's what they were saying before. He came around this area, but, uh... All right, there we go. We're almost there. I was going to say, what do we need her for when we got a fortune teller of our own? But, well, whatever. She seems wiser to me. Pick up Avre Leon as a zoom point. Where is it? Um, oh, there it is. Okay. Yeah, yeah, we got it. Uh, no one says anything new up there, I don't think, but nah, I could be wrong. But anyway, we got a little place here from what I heard. It's called Hermit's Hobble or something like that. I don't know. But anyway, I just want to pick something up while I'm here. Oh. Hmm. Wasn't there a place close by that had some gas seeping out around there? Nah, I'm sure it's just my imagination. But anyway, we get mini metal number... Which one? 18. So, two more and we can get our new reward from King Minikin. Let's go, uh, exact our revenge against the, uh, Marquis as long as we're in the area. Oh, right! The doors are locked, and we don't have Ujam to help us this time around, but, uh... Oh, who's that guy? Oh, it's... Healy? I thought you were a slime. Oh, Ragnar's already inside. Huh. If only we could have the key to get inside there. Oh, okay, let's head on over there and find out. I don't think they have... Actually, I know. They never explained how he became, uh, human. I guess it's kind of nice that he got to live out his dream, but I don't think they ever explained that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I want to bring in Mina and Maya. I keep on forgetting to do that whenever I go to this area. Well, to towns where I want them in my party, but yeah. And hopefully this will restore everyone, even in the reserves, to fall. I'm pretty sure it would. But yeah, if you bring me and I Maya in your party, just like Jeff before, you get a free stay at the end here. So let's see if we can find out more about that magic key. Well, what do you mean by that? Well, he's not doing so well. Hmm, I wonder if he would... Uh say something about that if I talk, if we went back to talk to him. I'm not going to because I don't have a warp point there, but nah, whatever. That sounds vulgar. Well, anyway, this is where we really need to go. Well, you don't have to, but this is how you're supposed to know where to go next. Okay, how's it going? Well, just don't have an orgy with all those other slimes. Ah, uh, okay, well, let's head on over there, then. Yeah, it doesn't have to be day or night to find that slime there. I thought it had to be nighttime the first time, but... Ah, uh, maybe I'm thinking of something else, so... But anyway, bring in the same party as we had before. This is one of my favorite parties in the game for random battles. I mean, you got all the debuffs. Uh, snooze, sap... Uh, what are the other ones? Dazzle, Fizzle. So you got all the good stuff there. And you got the offensive firepower with Elena there. Hmm. If only we could find a chest that had a switch at the bottom of it, but I already cleared out all the chests in this dungeon. Well, here we got a new enemy, Infernal Armor. A little easier than this. Uh, you snooze on him. But he's a little easier than the... What is it? The lethal arm is from before. Good to see the Cloak of Evasion already pay off for me. 
gain a level. Awesome. I'd like to get Kirill up to level 14 to learn a spell before fighting the next boss. It would be really, really helpful. And here we got another new enemy. Imps. They, they can use a cool breath on your party, but, uh, hmm. Well, they don't have too much HP, according to my beast, Gary, so let's just go with the good old-fashioned crackle there. Lenny, not right now. But yeah, imps are pretty vulnerable to almost anything you can throw at them except Frizz. Lena seem to be resistant to that lately. Hmm. Well, not that I'm going to use it, but... But anyway, as you can see, we have uh, the wagon with us there. So, we not only can we restore... Or, not only can we... Well, use them to restore our HP from the reserves, but they'll also get experience and we can swap them in and out as we please. So, some dungeons, they let you bring in the wagon. Some dungeons, not so much. Not that this is going to be a really long dungeon, but, well, you know what I mean. Don't even think about it, Lenny. Down. Don't make... Lenny? Yeah, you don't like the fly swatter, do you? And he's got a fixation on a fly somewhere, but... Anyway! Hey, hey! Alright! We found a secret passage! Ah, chapter four! Well, let's see what other clues he's gotten on that. We... Oh, wait, no, no. I was gonna say we could get it now, but no, no. I think you need another item in order to get that first. Well, where is this cave? You're not gonna tell us, are you? I don't think we ever find out what happened to the guy. Well, that's to that. Magic key's gotta be around here somewhere. Maybe he hid it in a book? No, no. But here we get mini metal number 19. All right. And a seed of magic. Awesome. Let's see, we wanna give that... Oh, who has it? Oh, there we go. We want to give that to, let's see, probably Mina, because she's at the highest level already, and she still doesn't have that great of an MP advantage. So, yeah, I'd give it to her. In the NES version, I'd give all the magic seeds to Solo there, including a magic key. All right, we got it. But yeah, the reason I give the magic seeds to Solo in the NES version is because everyone else can just equip Paps of Happiness to restore their MP, and, well, I'll go over that when I get to it. But for now, let's see. We've got the magic key, but before heading back to the Palais de Leon, let's head on back to Zelenograd. And when the cats find a fly, they, they can't stop. They can't help themselves. But, anyway, I don't think anyone here says much that's, that's insightful. So, oh well, but now that we got the magic key, we can go through here. Well, that didn't help us too much. Oh, they got another equipment shop here that we could have used in the second chapter. But, anyway, they sell some stuff here. Nothing I'm particularly interested in. So... Yeah, unfortunately, only Solo and Ragnar can equip the Iron Mask. So, everyone else is kind of stuck with Iron Helmets. Or, well, the guys are. Well, there is a Hat of Happiness, too, but... Huh. Well, that would explain why he kept on having that dream about the... About the Lord of the Underworld, or whatever it was. I don't know. But, I'm just going to loot your stuff. Thanks. Don't you mean he is very proud? And what did you educate him on? What do you mean? He was just a kid back then. Huh. That's weird. Maybe we should take a look around. <laughs> Learning the laid-back way. Just like... That was my method of choice in college. Just sleep through half my classes. I learn via the osmosis. The sleep learning worked for me. But anyway, let's see what the sign says here. Yeah, you couldn't get here before without the magic key there. 
Oh, okay, well, yeah, we've been hearing about a lot about that lately. Well, then what do we have to worry about? The Dragon God will take care of all this, but... Yeah, we've already been to Canelot, so... Eh, maybe I should have done that before, but... Well, that's that. Let's head on over to Endor. There's some magic key doors that we could unlock while we're there. Remember, we went through here before, but we couldn't get through the second door. But now we can! How's it going? Well, let's check out what they sell here. Most importantly, they sell the mighty liquid metal armor. It is obscene. Now, look at that defense boost. And uh, Mina and Kirill can equip it. And uh, it reduces magic damage by a third, I think, or something like that. It's really good in this version of the game. But, as you can see, it's obscenely expensive. Let's make it nighttime to sneak into the castle. In the NES version, it only costs 15,000 gold. It is just ridiculously good in that version of the game. Just for the raw defense alone, because you don't really have that much magic protection from armor in that game. Anyway, just make it nighttime. Wait for the guard to walk by. Remember someone was telling us about that back in Chapter 2 or 3? I think it was 3 or... Well, someone was saying you could sneak past the guards like that. One of those chapters. What do you, forgive you for what? What's the problem? Oh, for taking his bed. That'd be my guess. Ooh, pink leotard. I'd like to see Elena in that. And some more fishnet stockings. All right, well, let's give that to... Uh, let's give that to Maya there. And if you don't have the spangled dress, the... Pink Leotard would be better, but since I do, it's not that good for her defense, so I'm just going to sell that. That's worth a pretty penny there. And we could use the money, because i got a lot of shopping I want to do in the near future. So, let's see, we got Mini Metal number 20? Yes, okay, but there's still one more thing that I want to do while I'm here. Oh, nuts. Well, I might as well let him catch me here. Then why did the guard out front let me in in the first place? I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. But anyway, I want to use the the magic key. Oh. Oh, right, right, okay. It's like, where's the door? Right over here. Now, in the NES version, this passage exists, but you kind of have to push into a hidden wall to get down into here. Something like that, if I recall correctly. But anyway, you take this passage, you get some treasure! Like the double-edged sword. It's cursed, don't equip it, but you can sell it for some pretty good money. So that's pretty nice. And we get mini metal number 21. Alright. Blackjack 21? No, the ordinary kind of 21. Okay, well, I think that's everything there. What happened to that seed? Or er, Yeah, there it is. Give that to Elena there. I like giving that to her because I'm going to give her the, uh, the falcon knife earrings eventually. Oh, hey, there's a merchant there that wasn't there before. Huh. Well, that's to that. Whatever. Let's get out of here. You can just jump right off. And let's put those mini medals to use now that I have 20 of them. Whee! I wonder what our next reward will be. This one... Well, it's useful. It's not obscene, but it's okay. By the way, since we've gotten so many of those accessories, including the Ruby of Protection, I would sell all the prayer rings that you've gotten so far, if you have. Let me down. Naughty. But anyway, I want to give the Ruby of Protection to Kirill there. The reason is because it boosts his defense by 15, though he already had 5 from the prayer ring there. But can we save Ragnar from possibly the hardest boss in the game? Find out next time on Let's Play Dragon Quest IV! This is H.C. Bailey, signing off. Have a good day!